this video we are going to look at uh, these set of tools which is uh, cutting cone loose on uh, beams the same tools are very similar tools are there on the plates as well so I am only going to go through these tools these ones are uh, ex exactly similar which operates on plates all right uh, the first tool we are going to look at is uh, rectangular contour I want to put a cut on this particular object uh, so first let us look at that object to do that I am going to click uh, this uh, particular tool quick views and then uh, quick view on object I'm going to select that object so just watch the arrows which are appearing so this one is the front view this one is the back view you can identify it with by the colors okay I'm going to select uh, the blue arrow okay I'm going to accept the default so I would accept a default press enter 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 and uh, that member comes into view and uh, everything else is hidden so this tool will prompt you for a center point so what I have done here is I just drew a line now I'm going to put the center point to end of this line okay let's do that click on that select the beam and it selects ask me for a center point so select the beam and then select the center point it puts a, a cut there and the size I can change so I'm going to change the width to 160 and uh, length to play say 100 and okay and that's the that's the cut you can cycle through the different view modes through by using this icon so select that press say space bar select again space plus uh, space bar and then select again and you can see it is cycling through <coughs> the next tool we are going to look at is uh, this one rectangular contour very similar to this one but uh, this time it will prompt you for two corner points so I already created a line to represent the two corner points and let's try to use that one so click that button select the beam and select uh, one corner point and select the second corner point and that's your rectangle you can edit the rectangle if you wish the next tool we are going to look at is cut a beam with the polyline contour so that's the button we are going to use uh, so let us click that one I already drawn a polyline contour here select the beam and now it is prompting me either select points or select a polyline so I already created a polyline so I am going to select the polyline for that I have to type in P and this press enter and select the polyline and this dialog box comes up so earlier I did key in 12 let me change that to 0 now and say ok and here is the cut but now I can modify that with to have a bigger distance say 25 and enter and you can see the cut is 25 mm bigger than the polyline which I created the next tool we are going to look at is cut an element with another element contour so that's the toolbar button so I already drawn another member passing through this beam you can see that and I'm going to cut this beam with this uh, smaller beam let's do that so I'm going to press that button so I'm going to select uh, the beam to be cut and then select the beam used to cut with so that's the same then you can see the contour coming up there you can put a clearance but the clearance whether you will get the clearance depends on the radius of the contour so the radius cannot collapse on itself so I given 5 and that works so but if you increase the radius to 10 maybe this will start collapsing to itself and then that uh, offset you won't get thank you for watching
Hi guys, thank you for watching the video and if you like the video, please subscribe.